I'm here with a can of sardines from the Dollar Tree. These are a can of Pampa sardines. I have never had these before. This is a 6.35 ounce can. It says in brine. And let's take a look at the information on the label. It says servings one, serving size is one can, calories 140. Let's check out the sodium. Sodium is 760, so that's a bit high. Let's look at the ingredients. They are sardines, water, and salt. And this is a product of Vietnam. And the best before date on the bottom is 10-25-24. So let's open this can and let's see what these are about. It's kind of strange that they're in a round can versus the typical oblong shaped can that sardines are normally sold in. I'm immediately getting a whiff of fish. To me, it smells like cat food. So this is what we're looking at. It has a very sardine -y smell, if that's a thing. We can see that there is a lot of brine. I have my seafood fork. Okay, let's let's take these out. So as we can see, there is quite a lot of brine in this can. I would say there's nearly as much brine as fish. And here are the sardines that were in the can. They're quite big for sardines. And it's funny because just a few days ago, I opened a can of whole sardines for my cats. And what was in that can? looked nearly identical to what was in this can. The only difference is for cats, they then add additional like vitamins and minerals. They add like a multivitamin to it to make sure that cats are getting complete nutrition. So let's just open these up to see what's going on here. So they look like canned fish for sure. They do have bones. They do have skin. They don't have heads or tails. Sardines are a very good source of calcium when they come complete with the bones. They're also a really good source of omega-3 fatty acids. Let's cut off a piece and let's taste it. I don't really have very high expectations for this, especially plain out of the can. Super salty super salty the fish are really soft kind of mushy once you get past the saltiness there's not an overwhelming fish flavor at all they're actually kind of reminding me of anchovies if you've ever had anchovies because they're so salty. So what I'm going to do is I am going to rinse these off. I'm going to put them in a small colander and rinse them off to try to get some of the salt off of them. It's just ridiculously salty, way too salty. And then after I rinse them, I am going to use them in a recipe. I got a beautiful head of organic locally grown lettuce today in my CSA box, my farm share. So I thought I would make some lettuce wraps um, with a sardine filling. I just rinsed off the sardines and this is what happened as I was rinsing them. They just kind of flaked themselves. So I'm gonna taste another little piece now that they've been rinsed. Much better, much, much better. I still think they're on the salty side, but much better than they were. So I just put the sardines in a bowl. You could see that they're 
pretty much chopped up all on their own just from the running just from running some water on them I'm just gonna finish chopping them up kind of like you would if you're making tuna salad what's nice about the sardines is because they have the bones and the spines which are completely edible they do have a little bit of crunch because of those parts of the fish in some areas so it's nice because it gives it a little bit of texture kind of the same way that you get texture from adding like chopped up celery to tuna salad so because I'm making lettuce wraps and when I think of lettuce wraps I always think of Asian flavors and because these sardines were in brine they were not in oil I I'm gonna add some sesame oil I did not measure it maybe that was like two teaspoons just gonna mix in the sesame oil I don't know if I need to add more than that but we'll just we'll just see I'm kind of just making this up as I go along it smells really good now I'm gonna add some garlic powder I'm just sprinkling some on I did not measure anything and I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger I don't have any fresh ginger or fresh garlic so I'm just using some dried ginger just a little bit not too much this looks really good I'm gonna give it a little taste right now that was a piece of skin it tastes very good I'm gonna add a little bit more sesame oil Yeah, that's really nice. I'm trying to decide if I want to add just a tiny bit of vinegar just to brighten it up a bit or even some lemon. Let me see what I have. I just found a lemon. Let's add a squeeze of lemon juice. I almost taste it again. That's really nice. It does not need any soy sauce because these sardines are really salty. Doesn't need any salt at all. So here's my lettuce. I cleaned a few beautiful pieces of lettuce. Probably gonna turn this one over. I'll add some of the, I just added some of the sardine mixture to it. I'm gonna roll it up kind of make like a handheld sushi roll almost kind of with imagination there's a lot of lettuce here on top let me cut off some of this lettuce so here's my sardine lettuce wrap and now I'm gonna taste it That's really good. The crispy, cool, fresh lettuce combines so well with these savory sardines that I've added the Asian flavors to. I can't even tell you how good this is. This is really good. There is no off-putting fishy taste or fishy flavor at all. Like if I serve this to someone, and did not tell them that this was sardines, they would not know these were sardines. I'm honestly shocked at how good this is. All right, let's make another lettuce wrap. So one can is enough to make two or three lettuce wraps depending on how much filling you put in them. This one I'm putting quite a bit more than the last one.
and rolling it up really well. I'm gonna cut up, cut some more lettuce off the top. And there we have it, another sardine wrap. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the sardine wrap. Thank you so much for watching. So that can of sardines was $1.25. And what did I add? Maybe another 10 cents worth of ingredients to it as far as the sesame oil and spices. And then I added maybe 25 cents worth of lettuce. So for less than $2, I just had a really good lunch. The only problem is because it was so salty, I am really thirsty. Mm -hmm.